How are we all doing guys and welcome back to the Guna Express, your hub for all things Arsenal and Arsenal have just drawn one all to Slavia Prague in the first leg of the quarter-final in the Europa League and it's not ideal, is it really? Um, Prague did score an away goal, which for us is not great. But I'm now going to do my match reaction and play ratings to the game and I'm not happy at all. <laughs> but let's just get straight into it. The match reaction, um, in terms of what actually happened in the game, the starting 11 for Arsenal was Leno in goal, with Gabriel and Holding as the two centre-backs, Bellerin was at right-back with Cedric in at left-back, obviously Kieran Tierney is injured, um, the two centre-defensive midfielders were Granit Xhaka and Partey, and I was quite happy with that to be honest. Um, Smith Rowe was in the attacking midfielder role, with Saka at right wing, Willian left wing and Lacazette up front. Now, it's another game where we missed opportunities. Three or four golden opportunities just to score, and we didn't score. Saka missed the first one. Should have done better with the shot, let's be totally honest. Lacazette missed a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm absolutely horrified by the fact he missed that, because it was an easy opportunity. And I think Martinelli and probably even a Bamiyang would have scored it. So, not great from him. He also missed another opportunity, which I personally think he could have done better with. Um, it was a cross in the box and he blasted it over the bar at point blank. And then Abamyang missed an opportunity when he came on. About a minute into the into his before, you know, into about a minute into his game, he missed an opportunity. And it just showed that it was not Arsenal's night. But I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. Um Again, I'm not happy with the manager. I'm not happy with the players. I'm they should be ashamed because the fans do not deserve this. They do not deserve to be like having heart attacks every game where we're just thinking, are we going to win? Are we not going to win? And we didn't win. And that's what annoys me. But let's just get straight into the player ratings because that's what it's all about. And Leno in goal, going to give him a free. He could have done a lot better for the goal for me. Uh, Thomas Holes for the uh, for Slavia Prague scored the goal and it was a great header, great cross as well in the, literally the last about 30 seconds of the game. But Leno could have done better. Um, he dived low when he should have dived high. He punched the ball up into the net and because he didn't have the height, which he should have had, he couldn't push it away. And again, another goalkeeping error and he gets worse and worse and worse every single week. And I don't know what's going on with him. But I think it might be time to maybe put Ryan in for a little bit because he's just not having a great time of it. Maybe putting Ryan in for a game or two can maybe let you know let Leno level out a bit more, but we don't know. Obviously, I don't see him being dropped, but I definitely think it's an option. But a three, just not good enough overall. Again, his overall game wasn't great either. A few other opportunities where his positioning was poor, decision making was poor, and just there was no long kicks today. And I've said it, we need to long kick more, and he's not doing it. So a three. Um, Gabriel, going to give him a free as well. I thought defensively he was not the worst, but just the passing again, the whole pa the passing from all the team was just poor today. And Gabriel was one of the main culprits. A free, again, we conceded late, might not have been his fault, but as a defender, your job is to not concede goals, and we did. So a free, not happy with his performance. And the exact same thing for Rob Holding. Now, I thought Holding was a bit better than Gabriel, especially defensively. But he kept going so far forward. For me, he was trying to be David Luiz today by going forward and playing long passes. But he can't play a long pass. And he went too far forward, leaving the likes of Bellerin and Gabriel exposed. So a free. Again, better defensively. But I don't know what he was doing going forward. I don't know why he was trying to do that. It didn't work. And we could have probably conceded from it if we weren't careful. Um, so free. And then Hector Bellerin. Going to give him a free as well. I understand that he has to obviously, you know, back up Rob Holding. When he's going forward, Bellerin has to fill in. But Bellerin doesn't like doing that. So he kept going too far forward as well, leaving us exposed. And I said it before the game started. Holding and Bellerin together are calamitous. They're not a great partnership. And again today proved it. But a free for Bellerin. Defensively not, the, not great at all. Crossing was shocking. Just nothing coming from his side. Um, and then the left back, Cedric, going to give him a free as well. Again, feel a little bit sorry for him because he's, a le he's obviously playing left back and he's a right footed player. But he's played there enough now to play better than he did today. He, did, he offered nothing going forward. Nothing. And usually, even at left back, he still offers something. So I don't, again, today, don't know what was going on with him, but not a great performance. Three. The two midfielders, uh, we'll start with Partey. 
two. I thought it was absolutely atrocious. And I might be being a little bit harsh, but I'm just giving my opinion on it. His passing was the worst of any anybody I've seen in ages. Absolutely appalling. He couldn't keep the ball for longer than three seconds, it seemed, it seemed like. He just passed the ball to the, to the Slavia Prague players more than Arsenal players. His possession, the way he's keeping possession was shocking. I just, I still think he's a flop, in a sense that he hasn't been as good as we thought he would be, and he needs to improve, and he needs to find a way to improve. But a two, not good today at all. And then his midfield partner, Granit Xhaka. Now I give this guy a lot of criticism, but today he was one of the better players. Give him a five, average, and that's what we ask of from Granit Xhaka. He's just being average. Just be simple. Just get the ball back, pass it away, maybe take a good free kick every now and then. And today he did that. His free kicks, when he took them, were pretty good. His tackling was pretty good. His passing was decent. One of the better players on the pitch, a five. Um, and then Smith Rowe. Going to give him a four. I thought he was pretty good in the first half. Maybe could have done a little bit better, but he was better. He, he was pretty much filling in for Lacazette and William when they were being lazy. Um, but the second half, I thought he was quite poor until Pepe came on. And him and Pepe look great together. We need to see that combination more. But do I think we'll see it under Arteta? Probably not, because I don't, I don't think he rates Pepe as high as he probably should. But a four for Smith Rowe. Again, could have been better, but he was pretty decent. And the same says for Saka. That golden opportunity ruins his rating for me. If he'd have scored that goal, he'd have got about a six or a seven maybe. But... Yeah, that, that opportunity was so pivotal to us winning the game. But let's just take that away for a second. His crossing was perfect. Two brilliant crosses throughout the game. But again, the players that were in the box just weren't doing anything. For the first cross, three players stood and watched it go past. Didn't even attempt to stick a foot out, go for a header, go for a volley, nothing. And then the second one, Lacazette blasts it over the bar. So again, I feel sorry for Saka, but a four should have scored. Uh, left wing, Willian, I'm going to give him a free. I thought his corners today were actually quite good. His corners, his free kicks when he took them were, were pretty good overall. He was a little bit lazy, but not as lazy as usual. And he was pretty good. I'll give him that. He was pretty decent, but a free, just not as good as he could have been again. And then up front, Lacazette. Now, a one. I can't justify anything higher. Again, I might be being a bit harsh, but I don't personally feel I am being because he missed two great chances to score and he didn't score either. So, a one, unfortunately, for Lacazette. Um, and then the substitutes. We'll start off with Martinelli. Again, I thought he was brought on too late, but when he was on the pitch, he was great. Five, though, because he didn't really do anything that you know helped us score a goal or anything, but I thought he was good. He had a wonderful uh, opportunity on his left foot. Um, that just went over the bar. He was overall pretty decent, so I'll give him a five. But I want to see him in that striker role more. And, and as Arteta said he's the future in the number nine role, and he's not putting him in that number nine role. So again, is Arteta lying to us? But we don't know. We do not know. But I'm just going off of what we've what we've been told by the manager, which is he's the future in the number nine role. Yet he's not playing there. So we can only go off what we've been told. But a five for Martinelli, pretty decent today. Um. And then Aubameyang, I'm going to give him a four, only because he missed a chance when he came on the pitch. Within about a minute, he missed a chance, but he did get the assist for the goal. It wasn't a wonderful assist, but it was an assist nonetheless, so I'll give him a four. Um, El Nenny, give him a five. I thought he was pretty decent when he came on. Didn't really have anything to do because most of their attack was coming down the wings. But yeah, five for El Nenny, moderately decent. And then uh, Pepe, going to give him a six. Scored the goal. I thought, again, as I said with Smith-Rowe, those two together look wonderful. But I thought he was brought on a little bit too late. But he scored the goal. Can't. What, can, what else can you say? Six. Decent. Um, and then Ceballos, just give him a five because he didn't really have much time to do anything. And then Arteta. I'm giving him a one. Just like Lacazette. The starting 11 that you pick, you pick that starting 11, was not good enough. And you picked it. So you have to take blame for that. And then the substitutes, I thought, were too late. They made a difference, obviously. But what? just imagine if Pepe came on maybe 20, 30 minutes earlier. And the same for Martinelli. We could have scored a few more goals. But he chooses to bring them on too late. And the main, the main point by giving him a one is the one thing I said in my preview. Is that the one thing we can't do is concede. And we conceded an away goal. 
So now the second leg is going to be so much more difficult because we have to go to their place and score at least one goal. And you know what? Fair play to Slavia Prague today. I thought they were quite good. Defensively, they weren't amazing. Obviously, they got caught out quite a few times. But they fought till the last minute. Scored in the last 30 odd seconds and they just kept fighting and fighting and fighting. And they're going to be difficult to break down in that second leg. But overall, not pleased at all. Unacceptable performance from, Ar from Arteta and the players. Let's not get that wrong. It's not just Arteta. It's the players as well. Not happy. Obviously, we need to win this competition. Do I think we can beat the likes of Villarreal, Man United, Roma, Ajax? Absolutely not. And speaking of those games, let's just quickly go over them. Man United won 2-0 against Granada away, so they're pretty much through. Uh, Roma beat Ajax 2-1, good result for Roma. And then Unai Emery and his Villarreal team won 1-0 against Zagreb away. That's now them on the front foot. And as I said before, as I said um, in my draw reaction, my Europa League draw reaction, we play either Villarreal or Zagreb in the net in the semi-final if we even get there. Unai Emery will be gunning for us. And he, they played quite well today against uh, Zagreb. So we need to seriously just improve quickly. But overall, again, not happy with the performance. But let me know what you guys think. Are you happy? Are you confident for the second leg? Are you Arteta in, out? Are you upset? Just let me know your opinions, your player ratings, all that good stuff down in the comments below. Also, hit that subscribe button as I'm on the road to 200 subs. Hit the bell to get notifications for when I upload. And also, smash that like button. I thank you all very much for watching, and peace.